Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make this flying map. It's a map uh, where you'll be flying from New York to London and I'm going to show you how you can put that line on the map and how to fly with that little aircraft from here. Okay, so we're going to do the editing in Vegas Pro and we're going to first draw a line in paint 3d which is another program we're going to get the map and then we're going to edit the video in vegas pro so first let's start drawing the line so we need paint 3d for that and that's a free program that comes with windows 10 hit the new button and now let's first resize that resize it to 1920 by 1080 pixels if you're going to be editing in full HD. Okay, hit the OK. So now we have this uh, resized screen and let's go to brushes and go to bucket fill. I want to fill the screen first with a pure green color. So we're going to set red to zero, green to 255 and blue to zero. And now when we touch the screen, it'll be full green. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to hit the uh, 2D uh, tools and I want to draw this uh, three dollar line, curved line and make it a bit higher than that. Okay. And I want to change the color to blue. Okay, so that'll be blue 255 and the other colors zero. And I'm gonna hit the OK there and draw the exact line again uh, by connecting the two ends together. Now the second line, we're gonna make it about half the height of the first one. That should be just about right. Now here I'm going to set the opacity to 20% and that will actually make it faint and look like a shadow. Okay, well that's about it. We can save the project as a 2D a PNG and make sure you place it in a, in a folder where you'll be able to find it in Vegas. Okay, so that's it. We can close this now and go to the next part. We're going to get the map from OpenStreetMap. So we're going to Google for OpenStreetMap.org, open the program and we're going to copy a part of the map. In Windows it's Alt Print Screen and I want the size 1920 by 1080p. Now in your um, photo editor you can uh, edit that to uh, the right size okay so now we're gonna edit the video and put it together all the bits and pieces first we're gonna put all the items from our project into the folder all right now with control shift and Q we're gonna create seven tracks so hit that seven times okay so now we're gonna move that to the bottom line and at the bottom line that's the first line we're gonna place the map i'm gonna stretch it a little about 10 seconds that should be okay now on the second timeline we're gonna put our green curved line the green curved line that we just made now I'm not going to put that at the beginning, but about three seconds from the beginning. Now I hit the event effects button over here and we're going to add chroma keyer. And we need the chroma keyer to uh, get rid of the green. So hit the chroma keyer and over at the right hand side you can select pure green screen. Okay, so that looks quite good. Now we have that line across the map and um, it looks quite good, but it's not in place. We have to set it to New York and London to connect these two lines. So we're going to track motion. 
and with track motion we can edit the size and we can even uh, make it a bit bigger and we can even turn it so that we could connect New York and London together. You have to fiddle with that a little and it's a bit trial and error but in the end when you move it you can get the line in the correct position. Now with the line we're gonna add a fade in of about three seconds. So we need that fade in to be able to add a transition to that and we're gonna need a transition linear wipe. So we're going to linear wipe and we want a uh, linear wipe from left to right. So that's the right one and once you have that you just drop it on the fade in. So now we have that linear wipe from left to right and look at that wow that's the line going from New York to London so that looks pretty amazing already. So the next thing that um, I'd like to do is add a little feather to that and the feather will actually make the edge, the, the tip of the line a little faint. So now that looks okay, that looks great like that. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so we can close this. Now the next thing we're gonna place that big red spot on the screen on the third uh, timeline on the third track and we open the motion uh, track motion again and now we can resize that uh, red button the red spot and let's set it to 80 pixels and now by grabbing it in the center we can set it exactly where we want it to be so in this case that should be New York add a little shadow and set the shadow to three pixels that's just about right. I'd like that. Okay, so we can close this one. And now I'm just going to uh, add a fade in. And with transition, you add a zoom to that fade in. So actually what I want is that red spot to come and 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 from a very tiny little a red spot and grow bigger so we're gonna do it like that so we add the zoom to the beginning of that red spot now the only thing with that is that that zoom zooms in from the center of the screen so what we have to do is we have to open center and we'll have to move the center back to the red spot so just about there and now it won't zoom in from the center of the screen, but it, it'll just zoom in from that position over there. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now it's time for the next uh, red spot because I want a red spot in London as well. So we put that on the fourth track. Uh, we hit the track motion to resize again. And okay, so let's uh, resize that and set it to 80 pixels as well and move it over to London that's about just there yep that's about right okay add a shadow to that and set the shadow to three pixels that's okay we can close that and we do the same thing here add a little fade in to that uh, event and drop that zoom onto the fade in because just like in New York I want this uh, spot to fade in and zoom in from uh, okay that should be okay but you see there in the center that's a little plus mark move that onto the spot I want to uh, I want that red spot to come in from that position not from the center okay so that's about right now there's just one little thing 
it's not working exactly as I want it to be. I see that the red spot over London is not working uh, correct. What we have to do is we have to move the keyframes. You see those little keyframes? They're just at the wrong position. We're going to move them over to the beginning of the event. And that should solve our problems. Let's check it out. One, two. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. So, okay. All right. Now we're going to add some text. See the text over there? Just hit the add text. And there you go, New York. Uh, let's change the font to something that is a little better for this. And I had this one. I like that one. Okay, change color to uh, black. I want the font color to be black. Okay, and now there's one more thing. We have to resize that. So you just grab the frame and resize that and move it into the correct position where you want that that's about right just a little bigger a little bit smaller that should be okay okay so we can close that and now what i want the same thing for london so what i'll do i just grab the event and hold down the control and copy that onto the next uh, uh, track so I have two New Yorks, but now I hit the uh, text editor, the text editor button on the uh, event. And now I can move New York, which is going to be London. I can move the second uh, event away from uh, New York. And now I just change the text. And now I have the exact same size, same font, same color as New York. Okay, that's great. So now the next thing to do is we're going to uh, do the same trick as with the red spots. We're going to add a fade in to both the title events. And then we're going to drop the zoom transition onto that fade in. And uh, then we can uh, actually make the title come in from behind and zoom in here we have that same thing with that uh, that plus sign in the center of the screen it will always start at the center so uh, just open center there and now we can move that plus sign on to the red spot and you see that London will see now it'll come out of the red spot so that's a better position oh we have to do the same thing for new york again so we just hit the transition there drop the zoom transition onto the fade in hit the center and move the center uh, the plus sign onto the red spot and that should be okay all right now let's check it out see how it works Okay, that looks quite good. Oh, that's actually a pretty amazing, very nice map already. Okay, now I want to add the plane to the timeline. If you don't want to add the plane, that's all right. You can stop here. But if you do want to add a plane, okay, hit the effects and add chroma keyer as the effects. Okay, hit the add and okay. Now select pure green screen and now you see that we have this beautiful airplane okay track motion to resize the aircraft because it's a little too big so uh let's set it to something a bit smaller oops that's a little too small yeah well that's about right 320 pixels that's about right now just grab the center of that and move the aircraft over to New York now the next bit is going to be a little fiddling with uh, some of the values we're gonna have to add some keyframes so first we're gonna position the beginning of the line and as the line moves over to London we want that aircraft to fly along with the line 
So let's move the tire line. So you see that's about halfway. Now the aircraft should be halfway as well. So all we do now is we just move the aircraft all the way to the position where the line is and we turn it a little and as we make these minor adjustments you see that the keyframes are automatically added to the timeline and those keyframes are basically little memory things that will remember where that aircraft will be on that position on the timeline okay now let's do the last bit so now it's over to london and what i'd like to do now is i want to move that timeline just a few frames forward so i can resize the aircraft to a smaller smaller version so that after it's landed it turns into a smaller aircraft okay so that's about right and now let's see how that looks i think that's about right man that's really good and just make some minor adjustments because i see that london is actually underneath the aircraft so i want to move that away and put it into the right position that should be okay over here okay so that's it now let's have a look at the result and here it goes we're leaving new york and we're flying all the way to london where we land isn't that great it's a nice little thing or how about this one we're leaving reykjavik flying to oslo from oslo to madrid and from madrid to athens okay so when you're flying from oslo to madrid you're actually doing a vertical wipe a wipe from top to bottom okay so thank you for watching this video if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and hope to see you soon again.